beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel. Obviously, I am full on in festival mode now and I've got a full face of the new Avon West Coast collection. I am so excited to say that I have been involved with this collection since the very start when they started planning it. So I am so happy to be able to get these products on my face and show you the whole entire collection. So if you want to see how to get this look and what products are used, then just keep on watching. And first I've got to start with the eyes. These pencils are genius. So these are the big gel paint pencils. Long wet eyeliners, they are so beautiful and creamy and there's so many colors. So this one is cobalt, beautiful blue. Like, can you see how gorgeous that just glides on? This one is silver shimmer, so pretty. I think I'm gonna use this one. This one is rich copper. We've got your black shimmer, which is actually really nice to have a little bit of shimmer in a black coal. Blackout, which is your super deep matte black. So you can see the difference there, hopefully on camera, between the shimmer. It's got slight, like, it's like bluey, purpley, twinkly shimmer bits in this one. And this one is just plain black. This one is for sure my favorite. This is Tropic Teal. Oh it's so incredible. This is definitely what I want to be using. Then we have Plumful, which is an amazing purpley shade. I think a purple is always so nice on the eye, no matter like what eye color you've got. And then lastly, we have this shade, which is called Steel. So you can see the silver there. And then that's the steel, so it's a lot deeper, but it's got that gorgeous metallic finish. I'm gonna go in with the rich copper on the upper lash line here. I mean, oh, can you just see how nicely? Put that on there, and then I'm actually gonna take a brush just to really buff that shade out. I love using cream products for eyes, and like this is the quickest eye look ever that took me two seconds to draw my liner and then I've just buffed it out to a really nice blended out smoky eye so just so creamy it's nice you've got that slight twinkle of gold in the liner so I started working with Avon on this collection last year like I think it was August September time this has been going on for a really long time it's been a long time in the making and it's an amazing collection. I'm so happy to say that I've worked with Avon on this collection. I went for a briefing day with them last year, at the end of summer, when they told us that they would be doing a festival collection. And we sat down with them and we tried different formulas and we brainstormed ideas of packaging and shade names, the shades, the formulas. And they sent me out samples, like the first lab samples that they'd created and I gave my feedback on what I thought of them, what I liked, what I didn't like and now we have the finished result of the collection which is amazing, they've absolutely nailed it. Now for the exciting bit, I'm going to go in with this teal, oh my god, how amazing is that colour? Just taking a flat brush to blend this shade out. This is for sure my favorite color in this collection. It's the easiest way to like add a color to your look. I'm now gonna go with that matte black, which is called a blackout, and go in right here to the waterline to really add some like drama and definition. We want this to be like quite an intense look. And the great thing about these liners is once you put them on and they dry down, they do not budge. I'm gonna take a little bit just on the lower lash line, like slightly above the green. Mix them together. Yeah, I think that looks really good and dramatic. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the upper lash line as well. So just going really close to the lash line, taking a flat brush, just gently buffing that out. It's like festival grunge, I'm loving this. You can also use your fingers as well because they're really, nice and blendable so you can use your fingers right now we're gonna go in to these beauties which are the big and magical volume mascara so you've got three shades of this you've got enchanted violet look at the gorgeous packaging this is an amazing purple lilac-y colored mascara i find that these colored mascaras rather than wearing like them all over i really like to tip the lashes 
just with the colour. Like if you don't want to go all out there and go for a full coloured lash, then you can just put it on the bottom or just on the tips. This is the electric blue. Look how bright that is. That's amazing. But my favourite is a little bit more understated, but it's got that kind of festival edge to it. So this is called Festival Black. So it's a black mascara, but it's got little twinkles of purple glitter in it, which is perfect for festival season. So I'm gonna pop this straight on the lashes. It's gonna be hard to pick this up on camera, um, but if you were looking in the sunlight or if you were up really close, you'd be able to see my lashes twinkling away underneath the lights it's really really subtle but it just adds a nice little extra edge to your lashes and it's a really good mascara as well it really does push up the lashes it volumizes it's a nice chunky wand it is such a pretty mascara and look how long my lashes look now all right now we're going to go in with these i mean look how gorgeous the packaging is it's real la sunset california vibe this just makes me want to go to a festival right now this was the packaging that i voted for so i'm so glad that avon went with that so these are the flashlight fx illuminating drops there are some pretty cool shades in this collection. So this one is called Laser Lights. And as you can see, it's got a green tint to it. I mean, so, so cool. Remember you can put these like over the body as well. Even this on its own, if you don't wanna do any other makeup or gems, that's gonna bring all the festival vibes. Then we have this one, which is called Flickering Lights. So you'll be able to see it from this one. It's such a beautiful formula. So you can see with this, it's more of a purpley blue tint and shimmer that it's got to it. But my absolute favorite is this one, as you probably can imagine. This one is called Get Lit, and you don't need to just wear this for festivals. You can wear this all year round because it's the most beautiful bronze illuminator. You can put this all over your body. I mean, look at that. It is so gorgeous. It's really, really pigmented. So I'm gonna pop this on my cheekbones. Right here. A little bit on the nose, chin. As I said, if I was wearing a festival outfit right now, I'd be putting it all over my body. You can kind of mix it in with your body cream. And then just taking a sponge, I'm gonna really blend that. Oh, look at that. It's the most insane highlight. And I love this bronzy color. To be fair, this on its own makes you look like you've been to LA. Like it gives you that bronzy color. So it looks like you've been in the sun, even if you haven't. Now to go to the real fun part with all of the face gems. This is what festival season is all about. We should be absolutely dripping in jet. There are so many different ones to choose from. So these ones are really nice because they're individual. So you can put them wherever you want. Um, we've got these, which can go above the brows and underneath the eyes. These ones are really nice and colorful. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for these ones, which are more of like a clear gem. And I'm gonna use the ones that go underneath the eye. So this is what they come like. You just need to peel them off, go straight in. Is that not just the easiest festival look ever? It makes you look like you've made so much effort. It makes you look like you've spent hours doing your makeup look, when really, that just took two seconds to pop on. How cool. Now that the gems are on, I'm gonna go in with the Spotlight Stamp Pens, again with a really same gorgeous California sunset packaging. There are four in the range and they all work really, really well. So we've got the lightning bowl. As I've just done the stamp, the camera turned off, which is really annoying. So this one is called Electra. It's a little lightning bolt there, which is really cute. We have Steakout, which is probably my favorite, I would say, which is a little anchor sign. I like how some stamps, they can leave rings around the edges or not properly stamped, but like these really, really do. This one is called Making Waves, which are two wave marks. And then we have this one, which I think pretty much everyone is gonna love. This one is called Star Sighting, and it's a really nice star shape. So I'm gonna put a star on the 
corner of each eye. As I said, it's really, really easy to do. Two seconds and we're done. And then lastly in the collection, we have the beautiful lipstick. We have these two shades that you can wear um, on their own or as a base shade. This one is called Blushing Beauty, a really nice rosy pink. They're really creamy, buttery formulas. This is a really gorgeous bright pink and this is called Love You. And with these, they are toppers, but you can use them on their own or you can apply them on top of them lipstick. How amazing is that holographic palm tree? So we have Shine Bright, I'm running out of room here, which is an amazing gold. Look at that. And this one is called Sparkle On, which is a nice, pink shimmer. I'm not sure what shade to go for. Should I go for a pink? I'm feeling like I should just to add some more color. So I'm gonna go in with Blushing Beauty. This is such a gorgeous formula. I always think pink and green look so nice together. Then we're gonna go in with this shimmer pink, which is called Sparkle On. Oh, that looks so pretty. They taste amazing as well. It's like, I think it's watermelon. So beauties, this is my festival makeup look using the new Avon West Coast collection. These products are amazing and I can't wait to get myself to a festival now. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please like and comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.